All right, Eugene. Let it rip. But Kenko already has their own Snatch Deal and Change of Hearts around, so why not bring Snatch Deal back? To three. If your deck can't out Masterpiece, you shouldn't play that deck. Cyberstein pays 5,000 life points for just one fusion monster. <laughs> How hard is it to out just one fusion monster? I mean, come on. Dandelion can totally come back. Nobody plays Synchros anymore. And the tokens just clog your board up. Plus, token collectors a card, duh. And Phantom Sky Blaster can come back too. A Rise Heart was not a problem card at all. People only stopped playing Cash Tira because Age of Overlord came out. Everyone knows that. Nightmare Goblin could come back. Burns normal summon a lot, so what's one more normal summon? What's it gonna hurt? Verte Anaconda was not the problem, and people wouldn't play Dragoons anymore even if Verte was still around. Pendulums wouldn't play Kirin anyways. Plus it only bounces. It's not like it banishes. The black and white baby Chaos Dragon should both be at three. <laughs> They're once per turn cards. They're so bad. Honestly guys, the Liquid Duo could come back. I mean, your opponent gets to pick a card to discard too, and when every deck plays out in the graveyard these days, you're just helping your opponent with their combos. Plus, you pay a thousand life points. And Delinquent Duo is a bad card these days. Kid Kalo should come back so I can play my waifu deck properly. Runa could come back to three. There's no good warrior decks in the meta. Heroes kinda suck. And Taylor Knights could use some love. I, as an American, have the constitutional right to bear arms. So I should get to play Gumblar Dragon. Last Will is so old. Why is it even still on here? It's not even a quick play. Unlock the shock. Mystic Mind was a fair card that encouraged balanced deck building. I am not reading from a script under threat of death. Meow 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 does not make prank kids that much better. Konami just wanted to unfairly hit an outlier deck. Wait, that that last part is true. There are way too many floodgates now. We need Cold Wave back so I can properly compete. Chaos Ruler isn't as good as Dante and it's still around. And Chaos Dragons haven't been meta for years. Calamities is fine. How do you even make a rank 9 anyways? No, no, seriously, tell me. How, how do you make a rank 9? Cyframe Gamma isn't even a good card. What kind of gaslighting limiting was that? You can draw a driver and it makes the engine so bad. Or you can draw a second Gamma and it makes the engine dead. Totally gaslighting. Monster Reborn to one, Change of Heart to one, Feather Duster at one. I mean, come on, guys. Heavy Storm can come back to one. I mean, it destroys your cards, too. Reasoning and Monster Gate can both be at three. Inferno is a bad deck, even with a goth girlfriend. People already don't play Monster Reborn, so Soul Charge is fine. Plus, paying life points is bad. Honestly, I don't see the big deal with Metamorphosis. Go and lose to every meta deck out there badly. <laughs> I just want to play Neo Bubble Man again. Final Countdown being limited makes no sense at all. Duels don't go past five turns max nowadays anyways. So going to 20 turns is impossible. Six cents can come back, it's a trap card. It's so slow, who even plays those? Can we just have Malicious at three permanently, please? I'm tired of all the back and forth. The Mally curse has come back to curse the Mally. Poor guy. Help him out. Pot of Greed can come back because the Pot Collection has two Greeds in it. Plus, Pot of Prosperity is at three, and it's a way better card. And no one would play Pot of Greed anymore anyway, so you play Surge cards instead. Guaranteed Surges are way better than a plus one from drawing. Branded Expulsion could come back if you ban the Gimmick Puppet Human Centipede. Summon Sorceress isn't even a good card. If you think giving your opponent a monster is good, then you're just bad at Yu-Gi-Oh. Every Dragon Ruler and the Babies can come back to three. They've been power crept enough. That's splashable, come on. So that rotation can go to three. It's just terraforming for bad decks. Agrapain and LP should be legal. Dragon Leash not that good. And no one's gonna mess with specific zone placement again. <laughs> nah. How come Fibrax? Needle Fiber can come back? But every other tuner needs to get banned except for the one that I play. Rongo could come back. I mean, it's done nothing in the OCG, and who's gonna put in that much effort to summon five warriors? All the danger cards could be at three. Dark World would still suck, huh? Norden could totally come back because Instafusion's at one. Or bring back Instafusion to three because Norden is banned. Do something! No one is using Blue Eyes to Link Spam anymore, so Level Eater could totally come back. Plus, who Synchro summons anymore anyways? Why is Magical Scientist banned? 
It's worse than instant fusion because it burns your normal summon. And Emancipator wasn't even the best deck of its format. And Black Dragon didn't deserve it. Plus Fire was the weakest of the Perform Mages and it's only good with Luster Pendulum. And no one would play that anymore. So, yeah. Card's bad. You can come back. Brilliant Fusion can come back because Verte Anaconda is banned. The Gym Knights aren't that good. Plus you have to play Garnet. And Garnet gives me numb flashbacks. Oh, here they come. Last turn is not a troll card, and no one has ever gotten salty from it. It's fun. Gateway can go to three. Six Sams aren't gonna loop any more than they already do. Plus, nobody's gonna play Six Sams anyways. Except maybe Team Samurai, but that, that just makes sense. One for one is still limited? Why? Level one monsters are so weak. Grass isn't that sacky of a card. Trap Death Shoot is fair. I mean, it's just a one for one, and seeing your opponent's hand is not that big of an advantage because of all the search cards in the game. Same applies to Red Lotus. Just bring them back. They only ban Super Heavy Samurai Scarecrow because they're scared of Till. And they're also mean and hit decks they can't make as much money off of. Fairy Tail Snow is a fair card, and it isn't annoying at all. Kaiser Coliseum is a bad floodgate that never saw play ever. Imperial Order is a fair card, and it should be at three because everybody should be playing all card types anyways, including traps. If you can't out it, your deck sucks. It sucks. Red Reboot should be at three. There's gotta be a way to stop counter traps during either player's turn. Your opponent can use chicken game too, you know? Terraforming should be at three because all monsters deserve a home. Levamoche could come back because Jin has been banned for years and Infernity is totally nerfed. And who plays rank fours anymore anyways? And you could also just unban Releaser of Rituals. Yeah, just unban the Jin. Rituals are bad. Vanity's Emptiness can come back because it floodgates you two. Victory Dragon is such a bad card. Just scoop before they attack. Duh. Flip effects aren't good, and Fiber Jar is just a fun card. <laughs> it wouldn't cause any confusion or salt <laughs> or loops. <laughs> Not. It's fine, bring it back. Zodiac Hero was loved by everybody. What are you talking about? Scotty is a god-awful deck, and Fishborg Blaster is only banned to give fish players hope. False hope. It's what Konami does best. False hope. Max C. Just Max C. Did I do good? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> yeah, that that about does it, all right. Oh, uh, yeah, you uh, you did good. Subscribe. <laughs>